Our group starts officially tomorrow. Oh, I'm supposed to go. Right, let's try again. Our group officially starts tomorrow. But guess what? We're overachievers, so we've got something for you today. <laughs> One of the major things that we heard loud and clear in your submissions of your health surveys was the planning part of eating healthy, just getting it all planned and then executing and making it happen. So here's what we do. I hope these two tips help to get you started. The first thing that I do is pull out my calendar. So I look at what we've got going on for the week, whether anybody has any sports practice. Is there a religious school that kids need to go to? Do I have any evening meetings like PTA or anything like that? Is my husband Mike going to be traveling and out of town? Do I need to accommodate for that? So I mark all those things down on my weekly uh, menu planner right here. So I mark down for each day, like maybe Monday night, we're going to have soccer practice. Wednesday night, there's religious school because then I kind of know, okay, those nights I need to plan dinner that I've cooked ahead of time. And we're going to do something with leftovers or it needs to be like something super fast. Or maybe I've put something in the crock pot that day by knowing what our schedule is. I can plan so that I'm going to be successful because if I plan some big fancy, like from scratch, you know, roasted vegetable lasagna, okay, that takes a lot of time. There's no way I'm going to pull that off on soccer night. So I've got to set myself up for success with knowing what our activities are. So I just fill those in on my planner activities and then I just pick dinners that we like to eat and put it in around that. And then once that's all done, do you see that um, chalkboard right there behind me? Yeah, that's, oh, there it is. That's where I just record it all for the week. So it's up there. The whole family knows the kids can see what we're having for dinner. That's how we do it. I hope that helps you as we get started this week. Here's Mike for some other tips. Hey everybody, welcome to Sunday Fun Day, which is what most of you like to call it. Here at the W, we call it Setup Sunday. Uh, the main reason is we all have a long, busy work week. We've got kids' activities, and it becomes imperative that we set up on Sunday in order to have a successful nutrition experience throughout the week. So I want to give you a quick rundown of a few things I do on Sundays to make sure that I'm set up uh, with the food I need uh, to get through at least at least the first couple days of the week, Wednesday, Thursday at best. And then Tuesday, Wednesday, I'll probably do another quick round of making sure I've got the stuff I need to finish the week out with my meals and snacks. One of the first things I'll do is I'll take chicken, turkey breast, uh, lean ground turkey breast, and I'll either throw that in the oven and I'll throw it on the grill with some seasoning, ready to go. Got yourself a, a meal. I use these containers from Walmart. I think they were three bucks for six of them. I toss those in the fridge, I stack them up, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and there's my lunch for the week. I'll usually take some broccoli, I'll cut it up, steam the broccoli, toss it in the Tupperware, and now I've got my protein and my green. Along with that, usually some healthy fat and avocado, toss that in there as well. Again, just the big thing is to round out each of those meals with the right uh, ratio of protein, carbs, and fats, and healthy fats. The next thing I'll do is I'll take things like um, carrots and celery and cucumber and red pepper and jicama and I'll slice and dice and chop those up, put those in either baggies or other Tupperware and then I'll put some hummus uh, right here and, and these little guys, uh, again, ready, stack these up in the fridge. You've got your healthy fat that you can dip your vegetables in. Uh, one of the other things I like to do on Sundays is take some eggs and do some hard boiling on those eggs. Uh, that's a great high protein snack. Each egg has, I think, eight grams of protein, about 80, ca about 80 calories. Uh, and the good thing there is they're hard boiled, they last, they stay, they don't really spoil that easily. Uh, and then we'll go from there. Uh, one of the things that is big for us too is sometimes, and I know this happens to you as well, you're gone on Sunday. A few weeks ago, we went with some friends to San Francisco for the day, got home and just had no mental capacity to do any long-term prepping for the week. Uh, so I just basically did the bare minimum I had to do to get through Monday. That was taking a half a chicken breast, throw it in the skillet with some coconut oil, putting some Mexican seasoning on it, grabbing a uh, whole grain flour tortilla out of the fridge, getting some avocado, you know, making a quick burrito, uh, at least for my lunchtime. And then in the morning when I wake up, I went ahead and chopped up some vegetables and got my hummus ready, got the eggs put in my, uh, my lunch bag and, and went off to work. So needless to say, I think if you're not setting up on Sunday, make sure you set up time during the week uh, to at least prep for the meals for that week. Otherwise, you're gonna be stuck hitting McDonald's, the chips in the break room, the coffee, the donuts, you know, all that stuff that we fall back on when we don't have time to make sure we've got our own self covered from a nutrition perspective. So here is your call to action for today. 
We want you to post in the comments below your menu plans for dinner for at least Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, more if you can do it. Now I know it's Mother's Day today, but hey, if you're getting together with people, perfect idea to get some brainstorming with other people and be like, hey, I gotta come up with a menu plan. You guys wanna help me out, get some other people involved? Maybe they'll start doing better menu planning too. How about that? So we'll see those menu plans in the comments below. Have a great day, everybody.